this demonstration, you will learn how to run JMeter tests in BlazeMeter using APIs. Uh, this means uh, instead of manually starting the test, you can simply create an automated script that runs a predefined JMeter test using an API, or even create one for you, or uh, even upload a JMeter script into a test case and change the configuration um, on the fly using an API. Right, now to do this, let's first uh, log in into the BlazeMeter application. Now before running the JMeter test uh, through API, I must first identify the API key related to my account. So I'm just going to get into my account settings. And take a note of this API key that you can see here. All right, so to issue the uh, API commands, you will find a list of them inside uh, the BlazeMeter product guide, but I've got a list ready with me. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and take a note of the API key here. And the first thing that we're doing now is we're going to use an API to create a JMeter test. And I have the curl command uh, ready for it. Uh, however, before I run it, I would need to go ahead and make some changes to align it with uh, my project and my test. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to change my API key right here. And I'm going to give it off a project ID, which I'm going to find uh, by getting into my BlazeMeter UI project. So back to your BlazeMeter. And the project I am using is my first test. And uh, if you locate your URL here next to the projects, you will find your project ID. So I'm just going to take a note of that. So let's set the project ID to that. And the next thing we're doing is we're changing the duration to 20 minutes and the ramp up to 300. And the JMeter version will be 3.1. And the name of the test will be my API test. And that's pretty much it. We're now going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, call command. All right, that's true. Let's go back to your BlazeMeter UI and confirm that the test has been created. So as you can see, my API test has been created with the information that we had provided uh, in the API call. Now, the next thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to go ahead and upload a JMeter script to this test. I have the curl command ready for it. All I need to do is uh, copy the path to my file, provide the uh, correct test ID, and also use my API key. So here goes the file path. And the next thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to get the test ID. So if you go back to your BlazeMeter UI, you would find the test ID against the keyword test in the URL when your test case is opened. I'm just going to copy that and use it here. And the next thing I'm also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this API key. And now the command is ready, so I'm just going to go ahead and run it. Right, the command is through. Let's go back and see if our script has been uploaded to the test. Go to test configuration. And uh, as you can see here, demo test.1jmx has been uploaded 
to this test. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and modify some of the configuration of this test. I already have the curl command ready for it. Again, I'm going to make a couple of uh, replacements. I'm going to give a new name, uh, change the uh, properties, for example, the location, conform to my API, uh, given the test ID, and then we're going to go ahead and run it. So as you can see now, I've modified uh, the, first, uh, the, the API test name to first JMeter test API, and made a couple of changes to concurrency and the location as well. We're going to go ahead and run this off now. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. All right, so that's done. Let's go back and see in the blaze meter UI if the changes have actually taken effect. So you can see that I don't have uh, my API test anymore. I've got first JMeter test. And if you get in, you will notice that the location has modified and so has the concurrency. Right, so the last thing we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and run this JMeter test. So I already have the curl ready for that as well. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the parameter values for test ID as well as my API key. I have replaced the API key and the test ID appropriately. Let's go ahead and run this command. Now, once the test starts, you will be able to go back and look at the test reports in the BlazeMeter UI. This uh, brings us to the end of this demonstration. Thank you for watching. Thank you.